Test score. <laughs> Test score. He, he said I should say schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the other the other band was so hungry, they all wanted a schnitzel, so we wanted schnitzel, schnitzel, and okay, we want something too. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any. There's no schnitzel, sorry. Later on. We haven't had any yet. We've been in Germany for two days. You no didn't? Schnitzel. I, I, had, schnitzel. No schnitzel. I had one in Berlin. You I had, had two. I had three in Berlin. Did you? Three can't be. He also had three. three. Wow. They were yeah. so good. But yeah. not, yeah. At yeah. Once, yeah. I hope. not at once. Not at once. It's a lot of schnitzel. Can't be yeah. Nice to have you here. And I would like to start um, metaphorically speaking. Mm. If you two were the dark matter in a young galaxy. Yeah. Would you say that you pulled the three of them into your new galaxy? Black hole. The, the <laughs> vacuum of our black hole. The Suck black them hole. in. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, I think, uh, I, think, I think they were sort of like uh, asteroids uh, floating aimlessly through space and accidentally came into our, into our, our vortex. And, and they've been trying to leave, but they can't. <laughs> Summoning oh, all space Surely, language, right? please. Keep <laughs> sending it this yeah. way. He, you know, Stephen Camp at the end there, uh, he has a master's degree in physics, so yeah, he could probably him. tell you the technical <laughs> reasons why yeah. they're still in the band and haven't left yet. Or why, or yes. why none of this makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it does. The physics part, we will talk later on yeah, then. Sure, and sure, sure. A separate interview. So I also noticed um, you first sang together, and now you decided uh, to have just one voice. Um, how did you do get to make this decision? Is it a final one? Oh, good question. We don't really work in terms of finality, no. usually. It just seemed to, to be the direction we were moving in. Um, I, I sang a lot to begin with and I don't I'm not to, I guess the best way I could put it is I'm not very comfortable with my voice I don't like it very much when I record I I tend to have it's a very um fraught process for me so I ended up it seemed like a good decision for the sake of of creating clarity for the band um because over the years things have changed obviously a lot with our sound in terms of who's singing and our the people in the band and this is it was a great way because Catherine has a pure voice too you know i i think it and was loves singing i think it was down to interests and mm -hmm. and how much we love singing mm -hmm. so you just were far more interested in the production and mm -hmm. and the writing of things and i don't play an instrument and love to sing so you mean your voice is your instrument my voice is my <laughs> instrument yeah but in a live setting i think uh, i i think what i've noticed from from the from shapeshifting to ultramarine is that uh <laughs> should i do thank you okay um is that in a live setting uh everyone well myself ex excluded because i can't sing but everyone's singing um there's <laughs> it's not gonna happen um but there's the backups are are so much more prominent like everyone has a part uh on stage i mean Kathy being the lead but um you know the rest of them kind of following behind and, and supporting that lead and i find in this album more so in in shapeshifting that's like very very it's it's a pretty important part of our live um show yeah, yeah. for sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i hope so but i also <laughs> think just for you going back i think your voices also sounded very good together very strong mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you thank you well, well, thank, that, you. thank you for saying so. Well, we, you know, perhaps it's just we down to chemistry. Together. To go back to your first question, perhaps it's just down to chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> and the physical, and the physical uh, yeah. oh, nature. Yeah, a halt to that okay, moment. sure. Yeah. Of the universe. Take the mic away from So I think changes in the music, uh, in band style, are good. But many people think it's, um, they talk controversial about it. Mm -hmm. Many have a negative opinion about it. Mm -hmm. Why do you think so many criticize a change in music and a music style from a band? I think people want a band to find its sound mm -hmm. and to stick with it. And, to admit, and, you know, it did well and they loved it, so they want to hear it again. Uh, if, that, if, they're, if they think that way. I don't think it's true that... Everybody does. I, I think that's kind of a cynical perspective. But it's I think, not what we I th believe. Yeah, I think that people. I think that the people that might be annoyed by that <laughs> idea are probably uh, assuming that the band is chasing success or or selling out on some level. And I don't really see how that's possible in this situation. Just if you listen to our music, but it just seemed like a natural. I think a lot of bands are uh, sort of forced to to hit the ground running too often in the music industry now and uh, as a result 
they they don't get to develop their sound and i and i would i would argue that a lot of bands don't really understand themselves when they begin and that it takes time and certainly for us it was a progression of it was about understanding what we were really good at and figuring out how our roles worked in the band and and i don't think any band could argue unless they're very forcefully controlled by say one person in the band like there's a lot of room for interpretation all the time so it takes time to make a band find their sound so it was just natural i think our, our process was just out yeah it was the process was just out in the open you know we just sort of changed evolved over time a lot of bands don't get to make four records now so you know so you're, lucky. you're happy to be here at this place at this time together very very yeah. extremely yeah. germany's beautiful at this time of year Lush. It's lush. It's and green. wetty. A little wet, a little bit yeah. wet, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay because it's green and beautiful. We, you forget that we're from Canada where the winter lasts up until the beginning of May pretty much. So it, it, snowed in, it, snowed a, it snowed a month ago in Montreal where we're from. So when we come to green and rain, is, we'll take it. We'll take rain over snow, believe me. So we're spoiled here in yeah, Germany, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we did have a very tough winter, a like one. almost six months. Wow. Almost. Oh, okay, oh. okay. <laughs> can we have a short break? <laughs> what? How did that happen? I just think we're we we yeah, kind we of rigged it up. we, we rigged tried it to uh, yeah. montate. We should have asked you. You're a physician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have put you to to build it. I didn't. We didn't. I didn't even realize what was going on here. And now I get. Did you have something uh, like this crazy thing happening on stage? Uh, things oh, God. falling over. Thankfully not. Actually, yes, yeah. yeah. The bass so, uh, Yeah, in uh, we were playing a, um, a North American tour with uh, Junior Boys, and uh, and for oh, some yeah. reason, like the the monitor beside my drum set, like just like collapsed and i think i don't know what it was like i guess the bass was extremely intense in that venue yeah. and because he has a mask <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no it fell out yeah and Luckily. so we were, i was just playing i was just playing and, and i don't know if they had set the bass pretty stage? pretty yeah. pretty high yeah. for junior boys because they have a, a very heavy set and and uh we didn't have a sound person on that tour so they may have just kept the the sounds similar and it was just like i was playing and i just like looked over and the whole thing just toppled right over and everyone turned around and we kept playing through. i didn't even notice Did actually i didn't notice until Did you keep playing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 it didn't fall on anyone luckily so <laughs> this, guy <But> that's... <laughs> this guy here he had to at south by southwest he had to catch his uh keyboard from falling off oh, the stage yeah, yeah, yeah. it was bouncing really? off yeah, of the yeah. the stand yeah. and he had to actually you like were holding it while it was actually hanging yeah. and the guy had to come from off stage and, and put guitar, it back on the guitar fell yeah, off yeah. my yeah, it, was, oh it was a very it was a trampoline that's yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. so i also wanted to talk some uh, something more profound and Ooh. it's about I, i my opinion is that i think Uh, society and the media determines kind of what is pretty and what is beautiful in life. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, first of all, do you or do you agree or do you have another opinion? Just the first thing. Mm. Truth. It's, yeah. it's in the eye of the beholder, and I guess the beholder is society, you know. But I, it, I, it has to be different for everybody, no? Like yeah, it can't I just think, be one yeah. unified uh, perception. No, but of I think beauty. we have. I think societally, there's definitely uh, s norms or things that are considered norms <clears throat> to sh shoved down our throat. Obviously, there was a perception, especially for women, around body type that f has been going on for years and still going on. Now it's happening for men as well with these shows like Big Brother and. Uh, You know, all these all these uh, reality, reality shows are really about you know getting people <coughs> with with six packs and uh, you know who look great out of a shirt with tans and and the girls all have to be buxom and and it's yeah so yeah I think perhaps that's very true uh, and more so than ever in a way because it's happening to men as well. Yeah, I think in your in your video clip, uh, pretty boy, mm. I noticed the mask. And I also, I that mean, was him. Yeah, oh, it was you. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I kind of associated with mm -hmm. the mask. Uh, he was a little bit ugly, and she was like, a, like a doll. Mm -hmm. And also, kind of that you attempt this kind of problem, you know, of being. It doesn't matter how you look like, mm -hmm. and you can be together. You can be yeah. there, and um, I don't know. I kind mm -hmm. of associated. I, tr I thought you might have thought about that too. 
Uh, yeah, it, it is a weird. They're they're both kind of ugly in in different ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, she's uh, she's very she's like a mannequin almost, and but there's something creepy about that. But mm-hmm. but they but they have this kind of beautiful relationship Not at the and time, uh, obviously <laughs> 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 nothing creepy about it when you guys were romancing <laughs> that's, that's <it. laughs> but i think that that's, yeah. that's, that that just proves the point right there is that in the time when people watch that video it's like the response that i that i think i know i was showing my mom the video and like she just thought it was like the most beautiful video she's ever seen like and maybe she's biased because it's, it's a band that her daughter's in but but she just like she didn't you don't pay attention to the the faces and you're paying more attention to the actual act the actions of the the two people mm-hmm. so them dancing and falling in love or or what have you like you just completely disregard the fact that they have these you know kind of shocking faces yeah the interesting thing when we were filming the dance scene and at the end it's we were wearing the mask the whole time even when we got there because we had to glue them to our face and the people that were dancing they you know completely like they just like took us in they taught us all the moves they were so supportive even though they didn't know what we looked like we looked like these freaks you know and then and then we i remember taking off the mask at the end of it and they're like oh you're, you're normal <laughs> you're okay oh, you're, on the, you're not normal <laughs> oh my god put what it back you? on <laughs> There is still, I mean, a lot of good in our world and sometimes something bad. I mean, it's normal, but how would your perfect human galaxy would look like in your ideal world? Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, would, um, I would probably uh, <laughs> lean towards a pretty socialist perspective in terms of everybody having... Uh, I, I think what what's happening more and more with Western culture, especially, is that the rich are getting richer, and and it's a smaller and smaller amount of people who get richer, and the rest become poorer. The middle class is now be, sort of being dissolved everywhere, and uh, I would love to see everyone have people who equality, take care of equality. them, uh, t- take care of each other, and mm-hmm. who are, yeah. you know, pedestrian in their lifestyle or yeah. um, aren't necessarily upwardly mobile all the time. That's mm-hmm. If that were not the focus, mm-hmm. if it wasn't about collection of items and consuming and, and ambitions in, yeah. in an economic yeah. sense or yeah. material sense, that might be nice to see. People who are adaptive and creative and loving. Yeah. Yeah. Creativity, I think it's not supported so much as, as it should be, I think. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> Well, it's being commodified more and more, you know, in a way. It's certainly, we see that in the music industry. It's more and more, I think, bands are being for, as we sort of talked about earlier, I think more bands are being, at, or being forced to be careerist about their uh, choices they make in their, in their creativity. And I think that that's very dangerous for creativity because it means that you can't, it, that you aren't necessarily going to express yourself genuinely. Uh, you might express yourself based on what you think would sell, you might and be I, chasing and, success. And chasing success, and I think that's a big problem in general in the world. I think exactly. people, everyone's being. It reflects poorly on like you were asking earlier, like um, how we've changed our, how we've changed our uh, who we are, like as Young Galaxy, the music that we play, and and asking how people perceive that. And the problem is that because there are people out there who are just chasing. Uh, the successful side of it um they do make this kind of music that that like just caters to the masses and so when another band decides that they want to try something like that like how we haven't necessarily gone full on to like top 40 pop music but you know we're we're we've we're we've gone more we've gone into the pop genre a little bit and and so i think that's the problem is that people immediately assume that we're doing what other people are doing trying to get like onto the billboard and and make millions of dollars and that sort of thing so it's this kind of catch-22 where like we're we're kind of being almost punished by the bands that like are just in it for the money because then we can't express ourselves without getting this like uh, cynicism. Th- yeah the cynicism yeah, yeah. from other people sure. thinking that we're trying to do the same thing mm-hmm. and even though there are um borders and barriers in your life um what keeps you doing it still doing it i mean it's a tough business being a Very. musician and traveling all around the world not sleeping 
even stop, having a family. Now. Stop now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We're trapped. We're trapped in this we're in this lifestyle. We need. We're trying to get out. I don't know. It's uh, because we recognize. I think at the heart of it that it 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 feeds our um, it feeds something essential in in us that that isn't superficial. It isn't about money. It isn't about uh, the things that we're the trappings of society and and that we're we've recognized that ha- having made a, a number of records i think everybody here though we, we've only been together as a group for t- two years are all have their priorities in place in terms of uh what is important to them and and you know I, it's cliche to say but love is the most the thing that makes the world go round. And then if you have that and you, the people you work with, you, you can be creative with and take risks with and share your passion with, then really that's the recipe for success internally, whether or not it reflects as monetarily, you know? So I think, uh, it's a very dynamic we rec- we, we profession. We figured too. it out. Yeah. Like you're talking about breaking out of the norms and things. It's not, uh, static you don't feel trapped in anything it's changing all the time our where we are is where we're playing is changing all the mm-hmm. time where we're recording changes all the time it's just it feels like a more uh fluid experience of like employment even if mm-hmm. you want to look at it in terms of employment but mm-hmm. it's just very uh dynamic that way and it's very gratifying personally yeah. To There's play nothing, and play together. N- nothing glamorous about it either. I mean, it's hard work, and I think that the hard labor aspect of it is something that you all that that is n- a nice uh, quality in it. I think there's um, this great uh, interview with Leonard Cohen in this songwriter book where he talks about his process as being hard labor. Mm. That 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 really it's a search for something like uh, the the ability to go beyond yourself in a way. Uh, creatively and and surprise yourself in what you do and 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 i think we all recognize that that we we keep coming back to that place musically uh in and in our work process so so it really we surprise ourselves all the time you know and and it's great and we go deep you know uh and that's what it's all about i should everything should be deep all the time you know is it sometimes sometimes experimentally like you play and then you discover another another part of yourself like in in the mm-hmm. procedure of playing or is it more yeah. like a friendship that you hang out and then you kind of d- develop it it's a bit of both perhaps but i think that i think more and more it's becoming uh it's evolving musically it's cha- it changes more now than ever and th- this is also as we the longer we go together this band has never had a lineup that's lasted as long as this one so the longer we go together it certainly changes it i don't know what do you think you're the new guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean uh, i think uh, <laughs> i think just playing playing the shows live and and recording and and being together on stage is it's like there's no better feeling than uh than having a great show you know and uh um yeah we're just constantly chasing that i think and, uh, uh, yeah, I think, like Steve said, it's a combination of both. We're all learning individually the the what we're able to do, um, and and um, learn like learning the song. Uh, I mean, preparing the songs to play them live and that sort of thing, and being in our practice space and 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 being like, oh, cool, like we never did this before. Like, oh my god, we just learned how to do that. And then and then it's a combination of that and and kind of being like really supportive of each other and and being like I'm having a hard time with this and and so we all work on it together. And then that I think that shows on stage where we're excited to show what we've learned and we show it as like a band uh, and we're supporting each other and and yeah, having a good time doing it. We're proud of the work we we yeah. put into it. You know, that that's what it takes. It takes a lot of work to make it good. So But I think it's true of any uh, art, I guess, Mm -hmm. that, um, like, it informs who we are as much as we inform what it is. Like, if it's writing of any kind or, well, yeah, art of any kind, I guess. I think Mm -hmm. that's true of anything Mm -hmm. like that. Definitely. Um, So music changed you as a band, and music in general, I think, can change people or life. How how important do you think is music, or st- is it still so much as it was before, or are we having kind of a a curve no, back? As more important so, I mean, if as not, ever as ever, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's there's a difference between its importance and its disposability. 
it's still important to everybody. It's maybe more accessible and therefore, uh, well, not more accessible, but, but also a bigger part of more people's lives than ever, but it is more disposable as a result too. So it ends up, it's a cat, a bit of a catch 22 there, I think. So it it's also, great that more and more people of all ages get to hear all, more and more different kinds of music. It seems like the whole process has accelerated. But also because it's so accessible, it has the power to reach more people and to speak to more people. So more dialogue is, is possible, I think, yeah. Yeah. with music. I see it as a high form of being able to communicate with people. That's, that's, that's why I do it. Mm. I mean, I didn't want to speak for the whole band in that, but... I don't. Uh, I, I think it's true, and, and then the other thing is that as a musician, I think we feel like it's a, it's not as, uh, you know, it's 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 easier to get somewhere. It's easier for us to come from Montreal and go to Germany and then say like, you know, when I was a kid and or when, when any of us were younger listening to music, I don't think that there were the the ability to just like make it like create a band and create music and then travel with it was as easy to do. And and for myself, like when when I first started playing with Young Galaxy, like the first tour that we did in two thousand that I did with them in two thousand eleven, this that was like, oh my god, I'm actually doing this. Like bands, it's it's possible to do this, you know. And so and I think people are just seeing that it's not as uh, it's not as hard to achieve that anymore. There's more accessibility too to uh, to the uh, there you go. Uh, there's more there's more accessibility in a way to uh, to the the instruments that you can make music with as well. So it means there's more and more music being made. So everything is accelerating in a way. So I think we're in an, a tr an interesting period. I think that there isn't a lot of really there's a there's a great deal of music being made. I don't know how much of it is actually great, but you know, time will tell. Because a lot of the great artists of their time weren't particularly appreciated at their, in their time. So, we'll see. <laughs> I think your music is really great. I liked you. the new, your new <laughs> album a Thank lot. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad. And in your uh, website, I read about the new album and it's kind of a, um, described poetically, I think. A little bit like shimmering tracks mm. and uh, summoning the spirit. I, I liked mm. it so much, but how would you describe it in your own words? For somebody maybe who doesn't know the album so well, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's really the, fun. That's always the hardest it's question. Cool. Yeah, that's always the have, hardest question. It's hard to have adjectives yeah. like if you're yeah. talking about shimmering yeah. and you know summoning something or other. I can't remember what it is. Um, that is beautiful language. It's hard to use an adjective to describe it. Yeah. I mean, it's about. It's, it's not a concept. The there's no concept necessarily behind yeah. the record so it's just it was it's the like, process yeah the process really is reflected in the final product i think and they're just 10 songs that we loved and that it's we soul music it's soul music that's what we make and it's experimental <laughs> and it's uh it's, it's for us and uh ultimately i think just gratifying for us we did what felt right for yeah. us felt challenging and interesting and fun to play mm -hmm. but in a nutshell it's kind of swedish inflected electro pop yeah, <laughs> yeah. how's that <laughs> okay and and, and and regarding to your other albums yeah. just uh to compare those is it possible because i think there's there's a difference there's a big one yeah. you can hear it there's a huge difference in the people playing and in our lives and mm -hmm. When we first, when we made the first one, Catherine and I were the only ones in the band at the time of the making of the record. Stephen Camp joined after the record was made when we started touring, and uh, and we made that record with friends in Montreal, and we were very naive and uh, didn't, idealistic. We were just doing, yeah, we were just doing it as a way of kind of celebrating our arrival in Montreal. We'd come yeah. from the west coast of Canada, and such different circumstances compared to finding yourself three or four albums in. And 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 really having to refine the the kind of narrative of your music, you know. So so they're totally different mindsets, I think, between album one and album four. Yeah, and that that is probably what comes across as a difference, for sure. We're less; it's less naive, perhaps. People still accuse us of naivety in our music for some reason, but. But what do you exactly mean with naive? Your music. Well, in terms of, I think because it's easy to understand and it's kind of like hopeful. Hard on sleeve. It's kind of earnest. It's very hard on sleeve. Hard on and sleeve. I think people, people seem see to that as naivete. Yeah. Instead of something, I see it as courageous, Honestly, personally. Yeah. yeah.
to be to be that honest. I but. see it as genius. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just that's a very Canadian thing I just did. Just just kidding. <laughs> no, but I mean it's nothing bad about na- naivety, but it sounds sounds negative. I don't know. Maybe yeah. we should call it another word sure. then. But the first album was genuinely <laughs> naive and the rest weren't, but you know, I mean I don't know. Being we're being we're we're yeah. honest. I think we're honest. We talk about things that we care about. A lot of people don't when they make music, I think. They talk about what they think people want to hear. But go by the record. <laughs> but go by the, yeah. but please go by the record. Okay. <laughs> no. um, what else would your p- fans expect from you in the, in the future? More of everything. I mean, what do they expect from you? What plans? Ending. What should they expect? <laughs> they should, yeah. Maybe you have, you have some ideas. Probably more changes spoken word yeah. <laughs> we'll never I think it's safe to say that we're never going to compromise uh, our our create creative uh, ex- the way process. we express ourselves our process because I think that uh, um, I don't I don't think we'll ever really make music for to for money you know I mean, maybe we'll get paid one day. We don't really, I mean, we're still here, but we don't really make a lot of money at this. So, so that tells you something. Something compels us other than money. And when you're four albums in, there's no point in suddenly changing everything and try, because I think that's the heart and soul of what we do. You know, I don't want to change what we do for the sake of money because then you remove the, the soul of the music, I think. So that's never going to change, I think. So they can expect more of the. If there are things that people connect with emotionally or in their lives with what we do, there'll be more of that, and we'll try and do it better every time. I think we're I think we're getting better all the time, and uh, maybe some bands don't after a certain time, but I like to think the ones that get to stick around and keep making music together do. So, okay, so yeah. we can expect the unexpected from you. Sure, yeah. certainly, always, yeah. always. <laughs> and we've made and we've made those massive changes in the pilot, like right mm-hmm. turns creatively, and and felt like they were very empowering to our process. They're never easy, but they're the fact that we've done it means that we're that 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 we maybe are uh, one of the few bands that might, you know. And if and if if that's something that we value, then we'll keep doing it. And hopefully, our fans are. Uh, it, um, sophisticated enough we we presume they are we never presume that our fans are don't understand you know we feel like they're smart people and and sophisticated listeners of music I figure the modern listener is so yeah i expect people to be able to follow along and understand still no matter where we go and also think critically a little bit about mm-hmm. the songs of that's course, important yeah. Hopefully, yes yeah. we want people to think yeah Think, please. <laughs> Keep thinking. Okay. Less people are. <laughs> and yeah. keep thinking. Keep thinking. <laughs> Would you keep like thinking. something else to say to our Munich crowd? You didn't say anything. I wanted you to say. I told you we wouldn't. When you guys succeeded. <laughs> when you put a mic up to his face, he gets a really weird voice. He's talking What's really high pitched voice. Why? You go like. <laughs> no. Gonzo? He's jo- she's joking. <laughs> no, I'm totally joking. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's the way. He, he freezes and then when he talks it's like oh he can't do it <laughs> i don't i <laughs> that's why he's here that's the only reason why he's here uh i'm i don't uh i don't think quickly on my feet i'm uh i'm a very slow talker People are very, uh, it's, it's very annoying to people. Oh, I do a lot annoying. of pauses. I like that. It's, it's deliberate. Normal. And it's very deliberate and it's, uh, it's a bit annoying. So I don't like to do it. <laughs> Not annoying. <laughs> Not annoying. Yeah. But thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad thank, you had thank it. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, thanks. Thanks, for, yeah. thanks for doing this. Of course. Happy. Of course. I hope you, I, I, we will watch the show, of course. And yeah. I, I will maybe do the we stage can. diving. Yeah. <laughs> I am no, not you know sure about that. Do do no, I'm okay. I just uh, sorry. Do you mind if I get down? Here? Ah, can we uh, take a picture? But we oh, also yes. put it all in standing. You don't have to. No, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we? Should I? Soll ich hier so da? Oh, on it. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in.